Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. My name is Noshima and the co authors are Dr. Naja, Puan Shikim, and Puan Shafita. We are from the Language Center, National Defense University of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. The title of my presentation is Enhancing Entrepreneurship Intentions Through Communication Activities. Before anything else, let me introduce Tela. Tela is the acronym for the English Language House and Entrepreneurship Business Company initiated by students at the Language Center. <coughs> it starts off with one social mission, which is to improve the English language proficiency among school children, especially ones from the B40 family. In reference to our business model, the service subsidization and employment model, Tla is committed to subsidize individuals who cannot afford or are in need of our classes by teaching another school child for free for every paying person. While working for Tla, the students get to do activities such as group discussions, meeting skills, activities which enhance interpersonal skills and also public speaking. Most of the students, they do have communication apprehension and they are owners of this company. What we want to say here is in brief, after being with Tala, do their entrepreneurship intention become stronger? So the objectives of the study is to analyze whether communication apprehension, PA, influences students' entrepreneurship intentions, PI, to see whether demographic factors such as age, gender, education level and grade, work and business experience and family background affect PI, to investigate whether there are any relationship between communication apprehension and entrepreneurship intention. Contents of the study, type of study, mostly quantitative, the study adapts questionnaire, testing samples for CA and EI, the test use Pearson correlation, checks measure of linear correlation between sets of data using SPSS version 3.0, and our samples are 65 language center undergraduate students who are involved in TELA activities. Now we go to the theoretical framework. <clears throat> Let's apply what we are doing to this theory. Theory of planned behavior, TPB. It says that it is feasible to predict and educate human behavior in certain situations. We want students to be entrepreneurs, entrepreneur. that is the intention. What are we educating here? We are educating students to be calm. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurial. These students are exposed to communicative activities while working for Tala and these activities are perceived as behavioral control, meaning that they will make students become entrepreneurs, that is, the action. These communicative activities are also called determinants of EI and they can be in the form of personal or social factors. Okay, and next we will take a look at the conceptual framework of the study. <clears throat> Students of TLA had the opportunities to be involved in group discussions, meetings, activities related to enhancing their interpersonal skills, and they do go out and teach school students public speaking. While doing these activities, students have to actively communicate both among themselves and the school student. The study tries to see whether there is connection between CA and EI, that is having communication apprehension, whether having communication apprehension affects, affects their EI, entrepreneurship intention. There are two types of statistical analysis used in the study, descriptive, inferential, and reliability analysis. For reliability analysis, we use Cronbach Alpha correlation. Cronbach Alpha value is 0.762. This shows that the items in the questionnaire have a sound level of internal reliability, which means that the items produce consistent results across items within the test. A reliability analysis was carried out on the perceived 
value scale comprising 35 items. Kamba Alpha showed Depressionet to reach acceptable reliability where Alpha is 0.762. For descriptive analysis, we see that the total number of samples for the study is 65 samples. For gender, we have 21.5% male and 78.5% female. Year of study, 15.4% year 1, 40.0% year 2 and 44.6% year 3. 35.4% have past experience doing business while 64.6% did not have any experience in business. 33.8% joined the law on their own will, 35.4% they were influenced by peers to join the law, while 30.8% they were motivated to join the law by the lecturers. 61.5% were uh, they were interested to start their own business after joining the law, 6.2% have no have no intention of having their own business, and 32.3% were still unsure whether they want to start their own business uh, after graduation. Based on the high number of students being confident to venture into entrepreneurship. It can be said that the company has successfully inculcated and instilled in their students some entrepreneurship experiences or exposures. Next for descriptive analysis, uh, where we compare mean score between year 1, year 2 and year 3. Year 2 students have the highest intention of becoming entrepreneurs, followed by year 3 students and lastly year 1 students. That is, three point. Uh, that is, four point four one percent. Year three students, four point one six percent, and year one student, three point nine six. Sorry, uh, mean score. Okay. Next, um, for mean scores for both communicative apprehension and entrepreneurship intention, for CA is three point nine. 3.97, which shows that the level of communication apprehension of the samples is at a neutral level, so they do not feel that they are either very bad or very good at communication. On the other hand, for entrepreneurship intentions or EI, the mean score is 4.23, which is at medium level of agreement. It shows that the samples do have a good level in becoming entrepreneurs. And for the hypothesis, for the null hypothesis, which says that there is no significant relationship between CA and EI, here the null hypothesis is rejected. CA and EI were found to be low negatively correlated, where the <coughs> Pearson correlation coefficient is 0.225 and this also shows that when one variable communication apprehension decreases, the variable EI or entrepreneurship intention increases. <clears throat> and lastly, we have uh, the conclusions for our study. The first one is there is correlation between CA and EI even though it's low, it is a negative correlation which says that when CA decreases, EI increases. Number two is communication activities done while doing telah business activity make samples more entrepreneurial. The third one is the activities which are group discussions, meetings, interpersonal skills, exercises, public speaking have lowered samples communicative apprehension and helped them become more competent communicators and raise their entrepreneurship intentions. <clears throat> and lastly, improved communication skills can improve entrepreneurial intention among the students. With that, 